about the alderman's abusive attitude in Arizona. Because barbiturates were banned by a brazen cutthroat committee composed of controversial diplomats dedicated to deconstructing democracy, we've had to execute every embarrassed engineer found fornicating in fields of Forsythia. Given the governor's generous gift of gab and his habit of inhaling horse and hobnobbing with horny heads of state, he instituted injecting isotopes of ink to inmates. But he's just jaw-jacking and jiving. The Justice Department knows he has a knack for bad karma. Just keep knocking. Keep on keeping on. Look at the laws laid down late last night by these losers lacking morals, yet made to mock and mimic the moral majority. Neurotic nitwits nervous about the news on nepotism. Observe how only under orders, only under oath, do they obey orders, patiently paraphrasing past penalties, quietly questioning the quality of our quarterly quests, resisting our rage. They rarely raise reasonable responses, somehow sponsoring suicide selfies and selling sneakers to stalkers, taking test and turn up technicians on trips to Tucson under unregulated unions that don't understand the various vocations of villagers, all victims caught on video being violated without warning, without warrants, while you watch excommunicated movie extras as a Xerox Xenial youngsters yodeling yesternight across the yard in a zoo, not zoo zoned for zigzagging zombies. There you go. <laughs> the tongue as knife as grenade. The tongue as pilot light to volcano. The tongue as butterfly shrapnel spraying radioactive glass. The tongue as battering ram, axe handle, desecrated cross, trigger. The tongue as begging puppy, as monster truck. The tongue, Russian necktied for a joke. The tongue as assassin, a ninja jangling with blades, cro cross-stepping the grassy knoll. The tongue as wooden stake, silver bullet, an earthquake with lightning in its hair. The tongue begging kryptonite to freebase. The tongue as apple and serpent rolling its jellied eggs into the ear. The tongue, loaded, unlicensed, and steaming with cordite, trying to finish something that never should have started. The tongue, having kissed every wound from inside out, is jealous of bone. The tongue has heard of the heart, but doesn't believe in it, prefers the pulse in dice. The tongue, as a wall, a trench, a gate, fools gold in moonlight. The tongue tied into a straitjacket, scatting. The tongue, a lead weight dropped onto a garden of peonies, a nest of starlings. The tongue, misfired, misplaced, misspoke in our last conversation. The tongue, armed, blows a hole through its nearest cheek. The tongue, thorny and uphill, single-bladed and double-barreled. The tongue as museum, snowing through autumn. The tongue gets it, yes, 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 but how it loves spitting no. Um, the sky sheds hot apples of light. Rapacious grins slashed across the throat of the sky. This in celebration of war, which we worship with tears in our eyes in this cathedral of vampires. We obediently raise our faces to the fallen dead at the appointed time while our tithes of loyalty are looted from our back pockets. We are blindfolded in faith at this service where we slice open stolen cultural lambs on a pew of slot machines. Our prayers full of shrapnel swarming to reconstruct the truth. These prayers are all processed catchphrases and repurposed ad campaigns, the last freestyle sampled from a dying mouth. Nightly, I check myself for bite marks, a rubber stamp of lips, proof of percussion and sucking. It's the brain's insistence on untying knots served by the tongue. This isn't prayer dancing, it's response to infestation, a swarm of the wrong gods healing parishioners with fortune cookie astrology. We pray, 
just to breathe in certain spaces and you expect us to pay weekly to get suffocated. All right. Every night I am murdered in my sleep only to awaken radiant and naked beneath dawn's monsoon of blood. This white genesis occupied by the proudly illiterate after labeling the tree of knowledge a controlled substance. Every night the bushes open its jaws of switches and my shift begins anew. My job in this garden of perennial thistles where I'm forced to share crop Name the bite style for each fresh animal rushing from the double-gated house above me. Describe the complex flavors in poisoned saliva, pepper, citrus, rust. Tag ivory monuments in bubble lettering, new words for being spat out and eaten again. Determine the tasting notes between mauling for recreation or slaughter triggered by fear. I am made in the image of illegally moving targets. My ribs open nightly, blossom of beef mushrooms, its aroma singing to the sky. Night opens its drooling jaws in praise of me. I come from the kidnapped, the assaulted. My country tis of reparations as in-store credit back ordered to bankruptcy. It is me and my trophy wife passing as a dream of some kind. All I want is 40 dead mules and an acre of land with a lighthouse right above the porch of the great Atlantic Ocean just in case any of my ancestors tasted nasty and made it. I come from a people who pay a penalty every sunrise and divinate to paroled gods with rancid hog maws. The stripes plowed into my grandfather's back will have to stand in for our family album. Somebody threw some stars at my grandmama's head and said, bet you won't ask for no freedom no more. Natives in prison issue war bonnets say, I come from a poisoned land that recycles children into artillery shells and where dark skin is as good as an invisibility cloak until the police arrive. I am proud to be a blank where I can hold my head up and drown in the downpour of state sanctioned cancer. I am proud to hold my place in back of the line. I come from a land that's open all night like a shotgun wound. And as for y'all tired, y'all poor, y'all huddled masses yearning to breathe free, fuck y'all. I come from a place promising a burning cross in every yard and two meth labs in every garage. And when I say meth lab, I mean golden retrievers smoking crank. The country I come from, I can flash all its gang signs and beatbox all their anthems. I come from a place, actually, I don't know where I come from. I just know I woke up here. My babies were gone, my house was on fire, and I couldn't breathe, all right? The Department of Health recommends the following when drinking non-gentrified tap water. Please confirm race, ethnicity, and home address before continuing. We all know that old slavery narrative, how indentured families were tossed leftovers from slaughter, which may or may not include pig intestines or chitlins, ears, skin, feet, tails, neck bones, among other non-essential parts of the animal. What about leftover neighborhoods gerrymandered with lynching rope, public swimming pools filled with hydrochloric acid for Juneteenth, or native lands reduced to a merch table and throw rug? Research has shown that despite race, income, and or education, many people enjoy the taste and refreshing benefits of water. If you and your people were transplanted and forced to root in isolated or hostile territory, you must learn a new relationship to your displaced or non-gentrified tap water, which may or may not be fortified with lead, barium, cadmium, chlorine, radium, copper, among other non-essential chemical additives. If you live on or near native lands, please refer to the attached chart for areas affected by toxic nuclear and medical waste disposal. 
attachment is not available. <laughs> Non-gentrified tap or hard water may or may not cause asthma, abdominal pain, and cancer in small children with death as a minor and rare side effect. Symptoms begin within one to seven hours after thirst or exposure. Preparing non-gentrified tap water for ingestion is a lengthy process and may take up to one hour prior to thirst or bathing. Cross-contamination within the home is difficult to avoid. Make sure your work area is well ventilated. Wear goggles or a face shield to protect your eyes and face from splashes of non-gentrified tap water. Keep children out of the kitchen until non-gentrified tap water has been properly boiled and the work area thoroughly cleaned. Keep non-gentrified tap water away from all baby food and formula. Boil non-gentrified tap water until blank. Do not use unprocessed tap water for ice, bathing, or oral hygiene. After handling non-gentrified tap water, thoroughly dry your hands with ethyl alcohol and clean under your nails. Clean sinks and all areas touched by any droplets of non-gentrified tap water with a hot or soapy ble chlorine bleach solution. Pour properly boiled tap water in airtight containers. Store in the back of your refrigerator. All vessels used in the preparation of non-gentrified tap water should be promptly disposed of in hazardous waste containers. Thank you. Thank you on everything in my heart. Walking pre-dawn streets in my quarantined city, these blocks antiseptically silent, but there's still a trace of summer's blood in the gravel and sheets of smoke drying in the overnight air. To any rooster that's been weeping in its sleep, the dawn is bullshit, stubbornly proud of its poisoned colors. The sun scissors at night's hem. Stars jiggle their baby teeth. My eyes a delirious bride before the newness of the world. In the prison of time, presence is freedom, and memory will kick hope down a flight of stairs. That God might be a junkie on the nod for human pain ain't lost on me, not after misreading help us in a noose of Christmas lights strangling a house. The dawn's breath begins sketching ideas for the day. You can hear dreamers solve equations in their sleep. Phantom Santas poxed in reds, whites, wave drunkenly from yards black as cemeteries. The streets have ceased recycling. They call for death or nothing. All right, I thank you guys very, very much. <laughs>